Everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Today, this design is a very cool technique. And I was thinking I did it before with a printed 5-inch round balloons, those printed that are on the top of the 5-inch round balloons. Um, thanks to one of my dear subscribers that sent me a bunch of these and was wondering what to do with this design. So this is the one I'm talking about. But the thing is, whatever design that you have with the top print here is going to help you for this cool design that I think best a scenario, it's a 3 balloon best the best thing now after playing with this that i'm going to show you what it looks like this was my first attempt and it's the kitty cat face supposed to be a kitty cat so when i was making this i was thinking oh this is kind of cool yes a kitty cat but doesn't make you think about also another animal many other animals probably this is the same idea of the kitty cat but with um other colors like this one is black okay so um it's kind of cute um the only thing is maybe all the same color might be a good idea or kind of like in pink goes great with purple black and white i mean kitty cats can be black and white so you tell me what do you think if it's not play with the same color uh these balloons are already kind of old okay because it's been a while have you seen when was this like probably last year so the balloons are already old over the five inch round but i seen him there here and I was thinking, you know, let's give it another try. And I hope you like it. And I'm going to show you how I made this. So if you have the printed face, it's great. But this design is not just this. So this is going to be a very cool tutorial video that I hope you enjoy it. Because you can play with printed. And me, you don't have the printed on the top, you know. So that is okay because it came this idea. And this... I kind of wanted to try to make a monkey, different ways to make monkey. I wish my daughter is helping me with this idea, but this is kind of an, can be a cool interpretation of a monkey. Okay. And monkeys, you see, can be also this imperfect. I think looks great. Look, you have the tail, you have the seat in there. It's kind of cool. When you see this in person, you know, like here right now, I think it's much more looking like a monkey. Okay, faces can be variations. Maybe the nose wasn't the, the best. You know, I'm trying to look for images and something that I can make fast. But really, monkeys doesn't have to have this nose. It can be just a circle and that's it. Um, so, yeah, there's different ways. I think that the kind of like the ears, you know, can be to the side. Let's see. Now I'm looking at pictures, so this can make it look more like a monkey. Uh, you tell me in the comments, okay? I think, yes, to the size more than just pointy, right? So let's do that. I think that's a good idea. To the sides. But, uh, yeah, so that's kind of the idea of this design. We're going to make a monkey um, with the same technique. And I think it's kind of cool. I have, you know, here, pinch, twist, and some uh connections for bracelet i think that is awesome i'm very excited and happy because i see a lot of potential now um lupe like you must be so happy because this design pretty much um it's three balloon design so this is a three balloon design and just a scrap white for this piece that if you don't want to use white for the eyeballs you can always keep using part of what is this balloon because you will have left over Okay, so that is the intro. I'm going to go first with the idea of the kitty cat printed faces. Now, even if you don't have that printed face on the top of the kitty cat, it's okay because you're just going to see first the technique and then we're going to play it with a five inch uh, round, what is, tan color, you know. Now, this can be also a cute gorilla. So just play with gray and black. So it's have a lot of potential. Now that's kind of going to be fun for you. If you make this technique, please tag me and please tag me in all the animals you can see. Because I know there is a lot of animals we can make with this technique. Okay. Lots. Even if, I see a lot of animals. But now uh, I'm going to also work on more. But if you want, I invite you. Make it. Tag me so that way at the end of my videos you always find 
pictures from other people, other balloon twisters around the world that decide to give it a try and make something cool, something different, something more simple or more elaborated. But at the end, all those pictures is kind of helping this channel because you bring more ideas, more options. And so that's kind of fun. Okay, so that is the intro. And one more important thing, like, comment, subscribe. So what is the name of this tutorial? I mean, monkey or cat, or we should play with the technique of the, um, you know, five inch round, twist and half. I don't know. Tell me in the comments, what could we name this technique or this design? I'm not, it's not rock and science. I'm not discovering. I'm sure this is probably someone else around the world creating and making but what I like, it's uh, this channel, I just like the idea to share it. And this is kind of been what I discover. And now let's give it more practice. So make this kind of like technique idea more useful. Like we can give it for different animals. So that will be fun, right? Maybe I will create a playlist. So let's see. Now, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Yes, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> now let's start. I have some news, and but this video will come later for you. But it's already probably when you're watching this, the registration already opens for Las Vegas Bling Bling Jam, the awesome balloon convention that I'm gonna be this year too, 2025. So I did it already for 2022, 2023, 2024, and now it's coming that 2025th, and I'm super excited to be there. So I invite you because that could be the perfect opportunity for you and me and many other balloon twisters to meet each other and jump together in person. That would be awesome. More information, there is the website. Okay, let's start it. And again, this balloon is also, it may have some holes. Yeah, unfortunately, I, you know, like also doesn't give it much uh, practice and I didn't use it. So now my balloons are old. So this one had a hole. So I had to better throw them. I'm kind of like trying to use my old balloons. This one also, look, it's old, doesn't inflate because it had a hole. It's a big mistake of myself, you know, and that's what I'm, you can learn from my mistakes. Don't, you know, use it, use it, use it, because then it's going to get old. Anyways, you inflate your, it's a five inch run, and you don't need much, it's going to be easier, if less air. And tiny, kind of like, look, like this. So it's not close to the nozzle, but look, the face looks so small. You can always give it a squish, so that face is bigger, and that's what you want more. And then the rest, just twist it around. So you have the face big, so then here soon is coming the, um, what is, uh, the ears. Now, think about this, all the same colors are going to be fun, so if you have yellow printed, you can use yellow 160s. 160 is the better, better size. Now, what's going on here? I have 160, yes, but Decomex. And that brand, it's different, it's a little bit thicker, so you can always squish and stretch. You're gonna inflate it approximately six, five finger tail. And then you're gonna make like, like four finger bubble loop, okay? And another four finger bubble loop. If you want the ears longer, make it bigger, it's up to you. But I think four finger loop, one finger loop is gonna be good enough. Okay? So, because it's a 160, it's kind of go more in the pointy idea. So, that's it. Then you pass it around. Okay? And then, look. This design, like the way it was um, teach by the creator of this face, I think it's Juan Gonzalez, Josh Gonzalez. And he makes it from here and then make the, the legs, you know, and the other leg. But, what I'm thinking is this can be a cool design if it's a standing, like sitting, like sitting, you know. And kitty cats also sit that way too. So what I'm doing is this goes slower. And here you're going to create a pinch twist to kind of help to push it lower. Okay. A pinch twist. Then you're going to go down to the side now. Yes, to the side. Okay? So you have that pinch twist helping this to get lower. And then here to the side you're going to grab it and measure something like four finger long with that purple. Again, it's, the idea is to be yellow, but for learning purpose, it's good to have contrast with the color so you can see each one. So you pass it around, you lock them, and they, and also for me, what would represent little paws, it's gonna be two pinch twists, you know? So one and two, so two paws from the front part, it's all representing. Okay, so then you're just gonna go to the side, to the other side, so these are going to be legs, 
and here's another leg so this part is going to be like the chest pretty much okay or belly and just push it to the other side the same size as possible okay i have to remember to be nice and gentle with these balloons because it's old but um yeah you can buy these balloons you know where i am i think bargains balloons sells bargains balloons sells these printed faces now um alien rocks too it's another website but so far this is gonna be you know the front part and sometimes people just care about the front part i think i made before this design just kind of showing the idea of the front part this technique right now is going to show you that it's going to be looking good for the side the back so this is really cool now from here you're going to go low like something like five uh, finger long okay and i'm thinking already whatever is left over it's going to be a good idea for the tail so i'm just going to leave it like this what is happening you will need another balloon and that is going to be my second balloon 160 purple or yellow or the color you want i'm just using light purple lavender in order that you to see what is happening with that third balloon and the last one for this design okay let's do this so now um you just kind of attach it from here or if you want some time for me it's like i make the two loops that is going to be five finger loop approximately those are going to be like the back legs representing that is sitting you know and so so two loops of five finger loop each pass it through this connection so now the two balloons are connecting and then you can make a bubble pinch twist here okay then I'm gonna go with the two finger bubble, no match, and really I'm connected to this piece. Look, connected there with the two pinch twist that you did first. And then you wanna go with another two finger bubble, go back where is the back legs. And and this is gonna be the fun part. You have it seems like two legs, I mean two tails, but the one first is gonna be the that what is gonna be the tail. And with this, that we still have balloon. Look, you we still have balloon. Uh, the idea is these two loops, I'm going to put it inside right here, okay? And in order to stay two, it's going to be fine if we pass this last balloon and just go parallel like this one. Parallel on top all the way here. Yep. And the same size would be a good idea and just pass it around there. With the rest, you just cut it and that's it. Would you cut it? Or with your fingers. Okay. Oh man, I did it. Surprise, surprise. And um, don't worry if you say the scene and you get so excited and you're going too, too fast. Don't worry. I'm going to do this again in this same video. And so look how it's looking now in the back. This came from different balloons. You know that because it's different colors. But when you do this, remember you play with the same color, the same tone. That way people don't see, don't know. <laughs> now, these two loops, just squish it in between here. You know, and that's it. And look how is that full effect. Okay. Nice. Look at that cool effect. Now, this is going to give you the idea that it's a kitty cat sitting there, happy, and yes, so pretty much the design is ready. Really, it's a design kind of like a easy. Now, with this, you have really cool two balloons that this can be on top, you know, and then kind of like create the tail going up. And with this same idea, you know, of a tail like this, it's gonna be, you know, like that. The only difference, okay, right now the design is ready, okay? Look at the tail, look at the, the design, put a wristband if you want it to be a bracelet, um, color it if you want. I'm gonna show you the choices, but this can be a very cool way to make a kitty cat. Awesome. And then I was like, okay, this is also a monkey. A monkey sitting, you know, it's another version of how to make a monkey, and I love it. Especially because I was thinking the tail. You know, I, I automatically see these two bu bubbles here, and it's like it can grab a tail, you know? And But also it can be the tail around like this, you know? And it's okay, but I think this is kind of better. So everything, it's in, on, the, on the picture, okay? Uh, so there you go. Look at the design. 
sharpie time a lot of things you can add here you know like when i say sharpie time and a little bit more colors of course this design look better you know like and even if you don't have a printed face you can make a kitty cat face very easy simple the way you prefer because it's not that even to add ears the ears are with the balloons um you can always you know make just the face of a kitty cat very simple okay now from here came the idea of the monkey you're ready right, we're gonna make a monkey idea that is when i saw this it's like okay it's a monkey but i know i have a kitty painted face there but let's go with the monkey idea so in order to go with colors and the only variations are gonna be this okay it's looking great up you know for that kitty cat this can look cool like this for the kitty cat right but now for the monkey we're gonna open it to the sides more more to the sides separating i think it looks better for a monkey idea okay so now um let's do this let's do this it's a very cool design i'm super excited please share your comments your love your thumbs up because it totally motivates me and also if you can collaborate with this channel i'm raising money and this is my goal and purpose for this youtube channel it's to make enough money so i can afford to go to my next balloon convention that is going to be in las vegas on july 2025th so you can always collaborate there is a venmo paypal account and it's always invite you to do that because it's important for me you know uh first thing i have to register then start looking for flight tickets uh, because i'm not in las vegas nevada no i'm in cheyenne so i have to take up airplane um and things like you know also the hotel room and reservations and stuff like that so everything counts dollar by dollar i'm sure i'm gonna be able to make it and go to the balloon convention thanks to your help to your support your collaboration so there it goes check below in the description for my videos you will find their ideas how to collaborate with this youtube channel awesome now let's go with the monkey and this is gonna be a little bit faster so that way these videos are not too long because I know you cannot have and see the concept already. But let's do and make it faster so you see real life. I already know I will need a 5 inch round balloon. Um, the color of a one. If you want a gorilla, change your colors. This can be gray. And then the other color is going to be black. So think about that, okay? But this is going to be a monkey. So I'm going to use two balloons, 160. Okay? And that's going to be the basics. So let's start it. I explain your balloons are like 5, 6 feet of hotel. Okay, because you look, it's a much easier. You're trying to do everything with just one balloon because you want to say, this is a two balloon design. But I think this is okay being a three balloon design. Plus, if you want, and it's crap. So I played your five inch round. Again, it's stretch it if you can. This is a new balloon, so it feels better than the other ones. That's why I can feel free to inflate it bigger. But you don't want this also to be that big because you know what is going to happen. You tie it like this. So then you can squish, but not that much. It's okay. Good idea. It doesn't have printed face, so you don't have to squish this part. So that's perfect, this size. Okay? And then from here, you, if you want, if it's easy for you, you just attach your first balloon around there. And then make a loop, like five-finger loop, another five-finger loop. Now that is going to be in, what, um, ears. Then you can make here a bubble pinch twist, like a two, three-finger bubble pinch twist. Okay, and then you're gonna go to the side, remember, to the sides, just like this, and measure like five finger long, twist, 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 and lock, and then you're gonna make two pinch twists, okay, and then you're gonna go up and uh, to the side and measure another five finger long, okay, it's looking great, just because the idea is also this is supposed to be an idea for fast line twisting then from here you're gonna measure something like five finger long and all this whatever is left over i like it to be the tail so i'm gonna leave it like that soft and squishable even better so then you can play around awesome now from here you're gonna go and make a loop like this loop is gonna be for the back legs so five finger loop is gonna be good enough okay and another five finger loop and then twist, 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 connect it with the uh, first, the tail, what it was the tail, and then make here a bubble pinch twist, okay? Now we're gonna go, um, remember, connect it now to this piece, the first two pinch twist, okay? Like with a two, three finger bubble, connect it, 
And then another two, three finger bubble going backwards is the back legs. And then whatever you have left over, this is the trick. You will squeeze the legs in its cat's eye in here. And then the balloon that you want, um, you decide here. But I prefer to use this one, whatever is left already tell because the ending is really cool. And then for this one here, I just go and I'm gonna make a bubble that goes up. The same one will be for the back, five finger long, five finger long, as close as you can. Okay, so that is the tail. And um, let's keep going. Ooh -hoo. Ooh -hoo. Now, from here, look, you have all this. That this is a leftover. And I like it because if you don't want to use a fourth balloon or a balloon scrap white for the eyeballs or a five inch round white for eyeballs, you can use this piece, really. How? You just make a bubble pinch twist, another bubble pinch twist, and that's it. Or two finger bubble, another two finger bubble, and that represents eyeballs. Okay? But if it's not, you cut it. And I'm thinking, look, the same as this became a scrap, I have, and this is something I recommend you when you have time, because we sometimes have some time to be here in the balloon room or in your space, thinking about ideas. You can always be organizing your balloons. And what is here is a bag full of scraps. And it's good to have and use your scraps. So white is one of the balloon colors that you can get a lot of scraps. And so you just grab, you know, a piece like this. And then you're gonna pre-made if you feel it's better. But for me, like for example, I know I'm gonna need like a two, three finger bubble. Make a kind of like a circle-ish idea. I'm using a 260 or a 160 even, but it's okay. I squish the air a little bit, you know, and then grab the other side to make another um, bubble pinch tree. So you have eyeballs. This may say, oh, Cecilia, but that takes too long. It's practice. You practice this technique, you're gonna be faster and it's gonna be so normal and natural to make this. Now, some people go to better parties and they kind of calculate, I'm gonna be making probably five monkeys and you can pre-made these things and have it in the back already pre-made it. It's up to you. For me, I make it very fast, like, you see? Just grab this piece and, and pass it around, okay. And you can just put it on top and then twist it. So now you have that. You can always move wherever you want it to be, but you have something like this. Now, to the side looks better, this um, monkey idea. The bubbles accommodated. And now, uh, here it can play a very cool effect. Now, the monkey tail, open the back, okay? It's open it a little bit, so it's gonna get it stuck there, and that way people are gonna be able to see the tail. So, now, from here, what is going on here? It's uh, the ears, I put it to the side, and here you have a white that any sharp behind is gonna look great with the white. So now that is the idea, any sharp behind is gonna look great with the white. So what you can do is just grab any color, and if you wanna play with some black, for example, and then some green, that's cool. So you just make a little circle there. Leave some white, it's kind of always fun to leave some white, you know. And look, later I'm gonna color with another color so you can see how fun it is to adding another color. Uh, the nose, the nose is uh, big nostrils, um, just make it the way you think is good for you. I'm kind of like uh, still always looking what is better. And this can be a, a kind of fun way to make a nose, just like that. The nostrils and then phew, Kind of like that, that's it. And then here you can make a long or a, a short a smiley face or you decide. My, my daughter makes really cool, kind of like fun when she opens a little bit there, you know. So it's up to you. Um, but this already, it's a very easy, fast representation of a monkey. You want to use some pink to color. Uh, like one of the things I like is some cheeks. Add some cheeks. You know to the sides um more color for the eyes maybe some brown too you can go and just color around the black circle that you just did uh just like this uh, uh 
a little extra line and doesn't have to be everywhere just maybe on the top or to the sides you know to give it more character looks better it's just like that this design is done and really it's a very fast idea how to make a monkey why is it so this video takes long because i'm showing you the process how ideas came how you can always you know think about making more ideas from one technique because that's what you want so then you practice the technique you are faster with the technique and you can make a lot of different animals okay so this is uh the design tell me the comments what you think send your love your appreciation to this awesome youtube channel they have a lot of potential this youtube channel has so many videos um i'm so happy that it can be you know now more people watching them because around the world there is a lot of balloon twisters and people that love balloons and wants to learn this awesome art this awesome you know kind of uh, uh i think it's yes an art um a talent i don't know but it's something fun that if you want dedicated time this is the channel watch videos learn make it take pictures have fun give it to someone special so there you go now if you speak spanish si hablas español esto también va a estar en español muy pronto lunes son tutoriales en inglés y los miércoles tutoriales en español de la misma figura pero es un video totalmente nuevo entonces pueden haber diferentes sorpresitas i would like to give you more but i already the video is long so that's it have a wonderful day and see you in my next videos stay tuned subscribe to the channel because i do sometimes live videos at events or live videos giving you ideas like for example here i have this awesome balloon organizer and now I have finally a Suka car. I did it. I bought a Suka. Yeah, I had to because my other car broke. So I was like, man, now I have, and it looks more professional. I mean, it's what everybody, most balloon artists uses. I was, okay, let's give it. Let's use it. Let's buy it. <laughs> and so far, I'm good. I'm happy with it. Okay. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao.